by if I pray and stop it, is it so better to stop salah and pray on or off? Allah yahdikum. <laughs> Allah yahdikum. What? Pray one day and leave one day, rest for one day? But if you die on that day that you did not pray, what will happen? Huh? You will go to hellfire. Allah yahdikum. And here, let me say this. Many people, some people are struggling with their salah. Let us be honest. I receive these questions. Yeah, some, yani, occasionally. If you are struggling with your salah, force yourself to pray. Don't leave it under any circumstance. You think that you are evil. No problem. Remain evil and pray. You drink. Drink and pray. You go and do zina. Do zina and pray. Don't leave salah. The shaitan will come to you and will say, oh, come on, you are such a hypocrite. Such an evil person. What is you pray and you drink? What is this? If you really pray, you should not drink. But you cannot stop drinking. So leave salah. Don't pray. Yeah? This is what the shaitan wants. This is what the shaitan wants. Be careful. Why? Because if you do not pray, you later on, he will say to you, why are you Muslim? You are a hypocrite. You are a hypocrite. You don't pray. You do zina. You drink. Khalas, just become non-Muslims and that's it. You are just a hypocrite. What will happen? You will become non-Muslims. You will die straight to the fire of hell. Yeah? Brothers, as, as, sorry sisters, one time a brother said to me, you know, Sheikh, yani, I cannot lower my gaze. Fitna, fitna, sisters are fitna for me, women are fitna for me. I said, so what do you want? He said, I, I, I can't do it. So I said, to, yani, so what's the question? Yani, you want me to give you rubber stamp that, okay, go and watch out, sisters, and when you see a, a good-looking sister, oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you want? He said, I said, Allah yadik ya brother. <laughs> all of us, yani, all men are attracted to women. Agree or not? Yes. Come on. <laughs> Agree or not? <laughs> yes? <laughs> Including myself. I'm not, yani, I'm saying that I am a sheikh, I'm not attracted to women. No, I am attracted to women. Yes? And the shaitan attacks me as it attacks anyone. The shaitan was attacking the sahaba. Yes? The Prophet is the only one that is protected from the shaitan. Otherwise, the sahaba they were attacked by the shaitan. So I said to him, yeah, Akhi, women are fit enough for even the elderly people. Tahib, it is fit enough for them, let alone young people. So what does that mean? It means we need to keep struggling. Yes, we need to keep struggling. That's it. This is life. Because even if you Fail. Fail and wake up again and continue. But you say, no, 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 I am failing. Failing means this is the fire of hell, you are here. You fail, you will go here. You fail, you will go here. And instead of staying one day in the fire of hell, you will stay for days. Then you will stay for years. What is this? Madness. Are you following? So I need to resist. The fire of hell is chasing me and I need to run, run, run. I'm falling, no, wake up, stand up again and run, run, run. This is life. 
until what? We reach Jannah. Not even one foot in Jannah, both. Alhamdulillah, now I am safe. This is life. You know the story of Imam Ahmed. He's Imam Ahmed. Yeah, one of the great Imams. One of the great Imams. This Imam Ahmed, when he was on his deathbed, he used to say, no, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. So his uh, son told him, my father, when you lose consciousness on the deathbed because he was ill, you used to say, not yet, not yet. What is this? He said, the shaitan came to me and he said, oh, Imam Ahmed, this is your deathbed. I missed you. I could not deceive you. I could not deceive you to take you to the fire of hell. Imam Ahmed said, no, still you have a chance. Not yet, not yet, because as far as I am living, I am what? Exposed to fitna. So I need to keep struggling. As simple as this.